Bulavinaka and welcome to Talk Business. While tourism now takes center stage as our major foreign exchange earner, agriculture has always been our stronghold. That's why there's still a lot of optimism for our sugar sector to bounce back and reclaim its prestigious title. However, here we're talking about cash crops. Dalo, Yangona, bananas, ginger and pawpaw rank as some of our high-earning agricultural-based commodities. But there's now a new emerging agricultural product on the market Market that's gaining huge momentum across the world. Virgin coconut oil may be new to our ears, but it's already become a hot product on the global front. Journalist Rashna Nath caught up with one daring local farmer up in the interior of Mbua who has diversified his farming trends and tried his fortune on a fairly new product. Here's the success story of Masilio Pita, who's turned coconuts into cash. With its tranquil palm reaching gracefully towards an indifferent sky, the coconut palm is as ancient as the Pacific's way of life. Today, as it has been for centuries, the coconut palm remains an intricate part of the region's culture. Often dubbed the tree of life, the coconut palm has also become an important source of food, clothing and shelter for Pacific Islanders. How so? Well, from the roots to the trunk to its bark, right up to its leaves and its fruit, just about any part of the coconut palm has a use, making it the most practical plant ever. And while it's no new phenomenon for those who've grown up around the coconut palm, this plant's potential still remains a mystery to many. 28-year-old Basilio Peter could well be one of them. Growing up around coconut palms, the cash crop farmer hardly knew the treasure buried within the coconut palm. Thanks to a business and management training course in Nandave, held by the NGO Partners in Community Development and the Center for Appropriate Technology, Basilio unmasked the fortune buried within. He has learned the processes of extracting virgin coconut oil and how to make a living with a readily available plant. Few weeks after the training, Basilio daringly ventured into producing his own batch of virgin coconut oil. In his little village of Kilaka, nestled in the remoteness of Boa, Basilio, with help from his siblings and friends, began with a collection, cooking and saving of coconuts. Two days later, his hard work paid off as Basilio was able to package the pure coconut oil into small 350 ml bottles. Now, six months later, it's a thriving business. He told Talk Business that Dalo and Yangona farming hasn't given him such good returns like VCO does. Before I went to Nandabe, uh -huh. in the village, uh, I'm a farmer. Uh -huh. So I planned Dalo and Yangona. For Dalo and Yangona, it's a, a long time. Three years, four years, so you can get the money. But Dalo, nine months. But the virgin oil, only two days, you, you got the money. That's a short time. That's why I'm doing that virgin oil. Under favorable conditions, the coconut palm tree grows its first fruits during its sixth year and will roughly produce 60 coconuts per year from its 10th to its 70th year. For Basilio, 30 coconuts will, after extraction, produce 1 litre and 75 ml of virgin coconut oil. The 1 litre is sold for $10 at the village, while it fetches $20 at supermarkets in Savu Savu. So far, he has sold 80 litres in Savu Savu and 50 litres in the village. Basilio has now gained confidence in generating new ideas to gauge customers and market products. With demand growing, the farmer also intends to increase his supply. I want to increase my demand. Yeah. Uh, the problem, because no machine. Yeah. If I got the machine, yeah. I can meet the demand from others. Yeah. That's the main problem, no machine. But that's no easy task. To assure its pure state, the extraction process is a delicate one. Using processes like fermentation and churning, the oil is separated from the water or moisture. 
The 30 coconuts are sieved and scrapped and then 5 litres of hot water is poured into a bucket and kept in tight cover for 24 hours. Once kept for 24 hours, the bucket forms 5 separate layers which includes water, sinu sinu, a form of coconut oil and the virgin coconut oil. This is then gently extracted from within the layers and kept in the sun for 6 hours. Quite crafty at the process, Basilio now even diversifies his own product line. You can do the washing soap, huh. the lotion. There's uh, three things I can do from the uh, virgin oil. Huh. The lotion, huh. the washing soap, and the uh, shin -shin. Apart from treating skin problems and for cooking uses, Basilio has discovered that VCO has medicinal purposes with a healing component. Some of them they have a hole in the the in their feet, so the charcoal used there mixed with the virgin oil, used the cornmeal in place where the where, where the wound there. Two men, one from Nakurubu and one from Nandua. I already they used a, a charcoal for them and they but they are still better now. But like any small enterprise, Basilio faces many challenges and financial backing ranks highly. I want to increase the doing vision oil. Uh, the main problem, problem that a uh, lack of more machine, no no money to start eh, to buy one generator and all that tools are uh, need for doing the video oil. That's the main problem. I want to increase. Uh, if I got the machine. I can do it every day, every day. But uh, I'm not doing virgin oil every day because I got a farm. I just leave the virgin oil one week. Next week, I'm going to see my farm. I'm going to run down. Once he manages to secure a loan, he intends to purchase all the necessary equipment to increase production. Basilio reckons he can produce 300 litres of virgin coconut oil if he gets proper equipment. The market in Samsung, they, they don't have to bought one bottle or two. They want a litre, huh. 100 litre one week, 200, 300 huh. for them to, to buy it and they sell it. So. So if I got a machine, I can meet the demand. From a small scale cash crop farmer, Basilio has today witnessed what perseverance, a little risk and diversification can achieve. His business provides inspiration for youths of Boa. This clearly proves how enthusiasm and available resources can be used for large scale business venture and serve the dual purpose of community development. Rachananath for Talk Business.